It's rare that a bike is launched after spending almost a whole season in the Pro Peloton, winning races and even a Grand Tour. But that's exactly what Cervelo have done with its new R5. This is the bike that Primoz Roglic and Jumbo Visma have been riding since it was first spotted at Flesh Wallon in April. In fact, it's the bike that Roglic held up above his head after winning his third Vuelta. And now we finally got our hands on it. The R5 is an undiluted climbing bike. Cervelo have refused to compromise by merging its aero bike with its climbing bike. The job of the R5 is to get to the top fast. Of course, what goes up also has to come down, and the R5 has always been a brilliant descender. Cervelo say now it's faster in every direction. The fourth generation of Cervelo R5 weighs 130 grams less than the previous iteration. That's a 16% saving. This 56 centimeter frame weighs 703 grams. The forks, 329 grams, which means the whole package comes in at just a whisker over the magical one kilogram mark. Cervelo have also pulled some weight out of the parts that come with the frame set. For example, they've taken 12 grams out of the stem and the bars and 20 grams from the seat post. And that means it's much easier to make a bike that gets close to the UCI's 6.8 kilogram weight limit. According to Cervelo, the goat-like climbing ability of the previous R5 came at the expense of some comfort, especially at the front end. That's not too much of a problem for most riders, but for the World Tour teams, when they were three weeks into a Grand Tour, they did start to find the bike a little bit uncomfortable. Because of that, while most brands claim that their new bikes are faster, lighter and stiffer than before, Cervelo with the R5 is quite happy to admit that this one is less stiff than the previous model. Cervelo's engineers had previously found that specific ratio between the head tube and bottom bracket stiffness equaled the magic formula for ride quality. But they'd never applied it to the R5 because as we've already discussed, this bike was stiff for the ultimate in climbing ability. Cervelo's engineers worked on a couple of different carbon layups. They tested the bike out and then they sent it to Jumbo Visma for a bit more testing. At Jumbo Visma, Tom de Moulin was a prime candidate to try the bike out because he had ridden previous generations of the R5 when he was at Sunweb and had talked about the front end harshness to them. Cervelo also redesigned the fork in the same way that they've redesigned the frame, so they kept the lateral stiffness where it is, but dialed back some of the longitudinal stiffness. This was done by reducing the surface area of the tubes. The larger the cross section, the more torsional stiffness there is. By changing the carbon layout, changing the tube shapes, Cervelo have managed to make the bike lighter, improve its ride quality, but maintain its climbing ability. The good news for Cervelo is that de Moulin reported back that he could climb just as efficiently on this new bike, but that the added compliance would result in less fatigue and more effective recovery. With the primary objectives achieved, Cervelo could work on refinements, such as bringing the cables inside the head tube and redesigning the seat post, bar and stem to make the bike even lighter, faster. They also increased tyre clearances the new R5 can take 34 mm tyres, and that's up from 28 mm in previous iterations. Cervelo say that while the R5 isn't an aero bike, aerodynamics haven't been completely ignored. For example, by bringing the cables into the head tube, drag has actually been reduced by 25 grams. By reducing the size of the down tube, optimising it for weight and ride characteristics rather than aerodynamics, Cervelo has changed the shape of the leading edge. Integrating the cables was one way to offset that, but there are a couple of other little features that help keep the airflow attached, such as a chin between the fork crown and the down tube that cleans up the air around that area. The seat tube and seat post area, that's also been cleaned up with a fastback design, and that saves another couple of watts. As you might expect, it's been to the wind tunnel, and Cervelo say it's faster, not by much, but it is faster than the previous bike. With more drivetrains going wireless, including Shimano's all-new Duraace, 
it's much easier to simplify frame design. As the R5 is designed for electronic group sets only, it means there are fewer holes in the frame, which simplifies the whole manufacturing process. And it also means that an integrated front end is less of a big deal. The geometry of the new R5 is the same as the old R5. Cervelo have settled on angles that work and they've stuck with them. So that means the stack and reach are the same across all six sizes. The head and seat tube angles are the same, as is the length of the chain stays. What is different though, fork trail has been adjusted by half a millimeter, and that's just to accommodate the larger tire sizes. Also in the larger sizes, Cervelo have replaced the 25 millimeter seat post offset with a 15 millimeter offset. And that is to allow for the more forward position that bike fits are leaning towards. Standover height has been reduced across all the sizes as well, but that doesn't affect the geometry. The junction of the down tube, the seat post and the chain stays, that's been reduced by 15 millimeters to make the frame a little bit more compact. More compact frames are usually lighter. It also increases the leverage of the seat post, which will help the compliance, but without affecting the geometry, of course. Our senior tech writer, Simon Smythe, has spent a little bit of time with the bike and his initial impression was that it was beautifully well balanced and in command of every situation. And that was whether climbing, descending or riding on rough roads. And the work that Cervelo have done to make the front end more livable does appear to have paid off. The new Cervelo R5 will come in four builds, the two top SRAM and the two top Shimano group sets with Cervelo's new reserve wheels and a frame set only. The Shimano Durace Di2 and SRAM Red ETAP access builds will both be priced at 12,000 US dollars. That's 11,699 pounds. Shimano Ultegra Di2 will be at 8,700 US dollars or 8,299 pounds. SRAM Force ETAP access will be 8,400 US dollars or 8,599 pounds whilst the frame set will be 5,000 US dollars, with a UK price still to be confirmed. So there you have it. That was our first look at Cervelo's new R5. Let us know what you think of the bike in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload a new video.